So, what do Captain James Cook and I have in common? Well, we're both intrepid adventurers. And at the end of this weekend, I'll be able to say that we've both spent some quality time on the aptly named Discovery Coast at the town of 1770. So named because of Jimmy's little sojourn into Busted Bay all those years ago, the town to this day remains a sleepy little outpost which looks north over the Urimbula National Park. Now, here's a little tip for caravanners. There are a few north-facing caravan parks as you head up the Queensland coast, which are perfectly positioned and protected locations from the predominantly southeasterly trades. This one is a beauty and well worth visiting, particularly if you like fishing, but more on that later. The JK journey slotted in perfectly here, complete with ensuite, aircon and all the trimmings. And there were a few around me with definite van envy, but you know what they say, doesn't matter how good or big your rig is, there's always someone who's got one better. Like my mate Luke's dad, who's lowered the dolly wheel at the other end of the beach, Agnes Water Caravan Park, about five clicks away. So uh, meet Mike, otherwise known as Magoo. Uh, clearly this fellow enjoys the finer things in life. I give you the silver line. This is the top of the Jayco range, is it not? Top of the Jayco range. This one's uh, 21 and a half foot. And um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when we get a bit of spare time, yeah, the, the outback comes out and away we go. There you go. So tell me a little bit about the features of this model. First of all, it's it's uh, the outback being the uh, independent suspension. Yep. Um, we've got uh, internally, uh, we've, only, we've got a double bed. In the back we've got uh, we've got the bathroom, toilet, washing machine, shower, up the front, kitchen, um, and then a settee where we, where we have dinner and lunch and all that sort of stuff. So it's a real home away from home, oh, this baby, word. isn't it? Yeah, you can't beat them. No. For, the, for the price, um, they're a fantastic car. Mate, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And your beautiful van, the Silver Line. Yeah. The Joko Silver Line, it's the top of the range. So is this bloke, beautiful stuff. Thank you. Luke and his dad enjoy a lot of father-son time together, boating, camping and fishing. And as you can see, both being technical engineers, they're fastidious about their gear. How are you, buddy? Lukey and I are up early to wet a line and take in the beauty of this amazing part of the Queensland coastline. It's a fishing mecca, whether you're going wide or flicking lures around the banks and mangroves. Luke McHugh, he's an avid fisherman. And mate, you're a, um, you're a big fan of the Harvey Bay region. What's brought you further north this trip? Um, it's just an amazing place. It's Byron. quiet, it's, in, it's, it's, it's idyllic, it's the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef, so you're starting to get a lot, a lot of tropical fish species as well. It's perfect. Gee, the variety of fish here is amazing. It's beautiful and silver. This sight casting and casting in an estuary like this, fantastic way for, for first timers or, or kids to get into the sport of fishing, isn't it? I mean, it's uh, nice and calm. The variety of things you can do, fish for flathead, fish for stuff like this off the beach, mm. get yourself a few worms, perfect. After spending a bit of time in this neck of the woods, it amazes me how Captain Cook was able to get his crew back onto the Endeavour and on their merry way north again. It's so beautiful. Jimmy does return each year, however, for the 1770 Captain Cook Festival, and you can find out all about that here. If you'd like to cool your heels in town for a while, this 1770 campground is definitely the spot to be. And the way to do it in comfort and style is in a Jayco journey outback from Brisbane Camperland. For the full range of Jayco vans, pop tops, campers and motorhomes, head to the Brisbane Camperland website.